What is up, hackers? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto, where we hack all of our crypto education. If you guys are brand new here, be sure to be subscribed for everything that is Web3 slash crypto. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be going over the top five AI projects in the crypto space. Now, this has been a hyped topic for the last year or so. A lot of people have DM'd me in the comment section below. People have been tagging projects. People have just been swarming me with these different projects. So I'm going to be doing a deep dive on five different projects that are now live in 2024 and that a lot of people are talking about. This is not a sponsored review. None of these projects, I have not communicated with any of them and I don't own any of these projects. I am merely looking at them and talking about how cool what they're working on is. You have definitely heard of some of the larger ones. Some of them are over a billion in market cap, like Fetch AI, but I'm gonna go through each one step-by-step, step, show you guys the website, show you guys what they're working on. And the last one is a bit of a finale because it is a meme token. <laughs> and I've talked about it before on the channel, but it was a meme token created by AI, which is a fun take on this. I wanted to keep this playful and ultimately do your own research. This isn't financial advice. Check all the links below. So let's dive into the first, first one, which is Fetch AI. The AI integrations and services and everything that are coming to the AI economy are gonna be powered by Fetch. I really like the simplicity of this, build, deploy, and monetize. And the goal here that Fetch is really trying to accomplish is working through the APIs to support people with AI agents. And it's an open network of all aspects of AI. So it is the first ever open network of agents. And if you don't know what an agent is, it is effectively a individual AI that is able to accomplish certain tasks when prompted. And I think that this is such a really cool concept because there's never been a network of these that can work together. And effectively you could have a team of agents that are accomplishing different things. So you can see they have a lot of different integrations. Of course, open AI right there. You have Slack, all the different inputs that are pulling data in. They have a ton of different cool integrations that are here to help with streamlining things like booking meetings, things like that. Agents can do whatever they need to do. And you can see here, they have all the different prompts that are the examples with their Delta V uh, product. And this is like, for example, booking a beach holiday in late August. And you can see what it actually sends back when you're using that product line. So really cool, easy to start, easy to run. I like that they're targeting developers for AI agents. This has never been done before. And this has a $1.3 billion market cap at the time of recording this in June, 2024. To give you some context, over hundred million in volume on a regular daily basis. And just creating an AI platform and services that anyone can deploy is a very, very powerful concept when you're using uh, the blockchain. So I love what they're doing. I really like their approach to creating a product itself like Delta V. And you can go on here, check out all the different types of agents that people can utilize. Next up, we have another over billion dollar market cap, a project called the Theta token. This has been around for quite some time. I know that CryptoStash and a lot of, of my friends out there have worked with Theta Labs in the past, and it is a really cool business. I've, I've enjoyed following it along. So it is the decentralized cloud for AI media and entertainment. They started in media entertainment and now as AI has worked its way into the fold, it is really cool to see how they're doing this 3D gen AI and all the different types of leveraging media and AI. And there's so many things you can do in media and entertainment with AI. So they are about to release Theta Edge Cloud. And this is a really exciting one. It's coming out on June 26th. So that is next week or the week after that. Uh, I'm really excited to see and follow that. And I really enjoy going through all the different updates that they've sent. So the Edge Cloud, is going to have a lot of different components to it around gener generative AI. And there's so many different things that go into that. I'm not going to dig into that too much on this video. This is mainly just high level, but you can see the comments here from CAA. And that is one of the largest, if not the largest talent agencies in the world. And that's where they started. They started in media and entertainment and adding AI to it, enabling their creators and their partners, enterprises and developers to utilize something uh, in the AI space is super, super powerful. So really bullish on this, definitely worth checking out more. Okay, next up we have the internet of GPUs. This is a really exciting project. They're utilizing the power of GPUs and it is for the developers. On Solana, they can use instant payments out of the box. They can immediately get machine learning set up and the decentralized clusters, I think is probably the most underrepresented part of this project because deepen, deepen meaning that people can basically have ownership, they can have participation in the network. And it's so cool that they're actually approaching it with a deep in approach. So deploy decentralized physical infrastructure network. So really exciting to see this project getting even, even more adoption. I saw that there was a lot of things on X about this and so many people need on-demand GPUs at this point because of the power or the cost of compute. 
and everybody's getting into AI. So this is a really key infrastructure. I'm really eager to see how big this network is actually of the GPUs. And you can actually make money on that front. So that's one of the benefits of having something like a token where you can get people incentivize and get them earning because that is really a pretty key component. So overall, going after the GPU side of things is a brilliant idea. As we know, NVIDIA, one of the most valuable companies in the, on planet Earth, is a really powerful way of approaching any, any business. You want to create one of the pillars of the infrastructure, and that is what io.net is doing. And you can see here that they're trying to kind of compete with the marketplaces and things like that. Uh, NiceHash is one of the bigger marketplaces. I've used them in the past. They're even on the channel here. But it is a really great idea to put a token onto a network like this where people can earn based on their GPU power. And you can see how they have it all laid out with uh, the open open network here. All right, next up we have Zero One Labs. You can see they are going after decentralizing AI. You can see a bit of a trend here. And some of the, my favorite parts about this is this DAI tool set and this just the DAI concept in general. I think that the decentralized AI, smashing those words together, is smart. You do need to come up with clever words and ways of messaging in this space. And I think that having the infrastructure here for developers to utilize different decentralized apps that are using AI is a brilliant way. So they have these pre-built tools that streamline the workflows like Zapier. And it's such a great way of automation for developers out there that want to just plug in and they have everything pre-built for you. So you can you know, claim on the front end, hey, I have all of these AI features now on my decentralized application. And there's just so many cool things that they're doing with their token and just their overall proof of stake ecosystem. So I, I wanted to mention a couple different parts here that are important to take away. Not only do you know are they pioneering this decentralized AI application that are pre-built concept, but when you go in here and you're working with their pre-built tools, there is a really key part to understand. And that is, they mention App Store. That is what I want you to take away from this, if there's anything that you take away from this, because when anybody mentions an App Store, what you're doing is you are effectively creating an ecosystem that is at the size of something like an Apple, where Apple created all of this technology, getting it into the hands of people in their physical phones, and then an App Store. So when someone mentions an App Store, you're talking about a massive, massive potential business here because you're going to have developers putting those apps on there and you have distribution. Distribution is the name of the game. If you can get people involved on the development side and then have people coming to download those applications and utilizing those applications, developers are not only going to use your technology because it's better, but they're going to be using it because there's built-in distribution. So that is the one thing that I want you guys to take away from Zero One Labs because this is something that not many people are thinking about, but that one word on this website is an indication that there is going to be a massive business here when you have an app store that is able to have built-in distribution. Last piece here, chain agnostic. So everybody can have different blockchains that they're utilizing for their DAIs or decentralized apps. You can monetize. You can, of course, get this distribution that I was just mentioning on that app store. And of course, you can bootstrap with their funding and grants. Anybody doing funding and grants understands this space, understands what it takes. And there is a lot of information here. So definitely worth doing research on this one. Very excited to see how they have it kind of themed like the matrix. <laughs> and I, I enjoy projects that have thought about distribution. Last and most certainly not least, we have Turbo. And Turbo is, a, it's been around for a little while now, but it was created by AI. It is a meme token. And this is not financial advice, but it is a decentralized community, of course. And this thing has blown up. I remember when it first came out, I mentioned it on the channel and look at how many exchanges this thing is listed on. Remarkable that 35 exchanges have listed this thing. And I really like that eventually some meme tokens break through. And this is one of them. I'm, I'm impressed by the very, very teeny, 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 tiny percentage of meme tokens that break through. And the way that that's done is through a community. It is a very clear cut meme token that is not financially incentivized. But the idea that it was created by AI people like. And it is an indication of what could be the future, where you have AI agents working together as a team, they're creating something together, and then boom, you have an instant liquid market, you have people all talking about it, and you have this real grassroots approach. So I enjoy seeing things like this succeed, a lot of people don't, but the idea that this is possible is remarkable to me, that it can just truly get powered by artificial intelligence and break through is just a vote of confidence for the future for everybody. And that is my overview, fetch first, Theta second, IO net third, Zero Labs fourth, and Turbo 
is the last. So that is it for my overview of my top five AI crypto projects. To recap, it is fetch.ai, it is Theta Network, it is the io.net, it is Zero One Labs, and of course, the Turbo Toad token or turbo. And I just love the concept of AI and crypto meeting together, using decentralization to power all aspects of AI, I think is the future. It is how a lot of very intelligent people are building in this space. And I think an underlying tone here is that you have to always follow the developers. I've said this thousands of times over the past 10 years in this space, wherever the developers are going, it doesn't matter what your opinion is. It is what is taking action, what is actually happening behind the scenes. So if all of the smartest developers in the world are working at a cross section between crypto and also AI, those two come together. Eventually, that's where you wanna be. Similar to gaming and AI and crypto, you wanna always go to where the intersection of the builders and the trends are. So this is a huge market. It's gonna be trillions of dollars. Many different people have talked about the size of AI in general, but ultimately Web3 has its space in the overall AI market. So I'm really bullish on projects like this, mainly because the developers that are already working in Web3 said, hey, let's start attacking our mental bandwidth on AI as well. And we can really roll these up together and create something magical in a decentralized fashion, which I love. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys like it. All the links will be below. Once again, I'm not working with any of these projects. I just like them. I don't hold any of them, but check them out with the link below. And I will see you here on the next episode of Hack Crypto.